All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, real quick at the start of the video, there was a change. I, this was not on JP. This is brand new, only on the Global Dokkan World Tournament as of now. They've put in uh, insane daily missions. So, like, just quickly, uh, if you're a global player, you want to make sure to get all of the daily missions done every day. So, that's five wins. Now, unfortunately, that is what... Well, let's see, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, you basically have to go through it 20 times, right? The prelim, quarterfinal, semifinal, and final, and you got to do that five times. But the amount of rewards you get for this is insane. Now, again, I if you guys know, for the last 10 world tournaments or something, I've placed at least top, like, 200. Like, I go really hard um, because I want the orb prize, really. Like, like that's why I go so freaking hard. I do not remember this ever being on JP, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, um, okay, so specific missions with characters from DB Saga to get the Master's Mark medals, right? So these Master's Mark medals, I mean, there's a lot of characters that awaken with him. Actually, I will, let me open up DBZ Space real quick, and I do just want to point out the insane amount of cards that awaken with these Master's Medals. So, if you are a new player or something like that, listen, I know the World Tournament is not fun. Like, it's just, it's not. It's it's not, it's very tedious. But the rewards for it, like, seriously are really good and really worth it. So, I, I would say, go, like, get all the missions done, at least. You're going to get a free copy of the reward card, which this time is Gotenks. Gotenks is pretty good. And I raboed him recently because um, he came out in May on JP. This guy, if they release some sort of new Dokkan Fest Gotenks, this guy is going to be like his best friend because he's giving youth and fusion 40%. Like, so, you know, like, a, let's say a theoretical, like, new transforming Gotenks Dokkan Fest, uh, he would get 40% from this guy. Let's also then say that that Gotenks wants key, right? Well, this guy has Fuse Fighter over in a flash and shocking speed. So this guy is legitimately going to be like, a, a, if there's a new Dokkan Fest Gotenks, this guy is going to be his best friend. So you do want to get one copy of him, and it's very easy to do. I'll pull it up in a second after we take a look at this. Wait, I pulled up something. What was I pulling up? Uh, oh yeah, the Master's Mark medal. So me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, here's the amount of units that awaken with this. It's by far the most in the game for any one type of metal. Um, currently, though, I've got like 600 of these sitting in my box because, you know, I, grinding the World Tournament as much as I do. Uh, occasionally, you get that last stage in the finals where a couple of the gold medals on the stage are actually Master's Mark medals. And then, of course, a couple of the units here, um, Piccolo, uh, Tien down here, and then Yamcha. You know, those three are LRs. They require, what, 77 of the medals in total to awaken. Uh, I am actually still waiting to rainbow my LR Piccolo. I just can't pull him. I, I mean, it's been two years I have not pulled him from that World Tournament banner. Nothing I could do. <laughs> so I'm trying. I'm trying my best. But, you know, it's very important to get these. Now, here's the main thing here. Um, in addition, the daily mission rewards have become even more luxurious. Yeah, you're telling me. So complete all the daily missions every day during the three-day period to obtain the following rewards. Three-day period is good. It's going to sound like one of these five-day marathon tournaments. Wait, let me double check here. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Man, global. Just listen. Y'all need to be thankful y'all don't have them five-day tournaments anymore. I mean, for a player that just wants to get the missions done, sure. You know, it's not really so bad. Um, well, okay, for a player that just wants to get the missions done, it would be more preferential if the tournament was, like, five days long. But if you're a player that wants to get, you know, top 200, top 100, and maybe even higher than that, the long world tournaments, it, it just, it ruins your life. Because, like, you can't do anything except grind the world tournament if you want to get that high. I, I mean, you know, for me, again, rainbowing units is, like, essentially my job, so I could do it, right? But, like, a normal person has work, you all got school, friends, all, like, you know... People, like, WoW Classic came out, cats want to grind that. Like, you know, you don't have time for World Tournament all the time, so I do get that. Um, but take a look at this, right? So, this is if you complete all the daily missions, right? So, you did, you won five times. In total, you're going to get nine stones. So, that's three days in a row. So, that's 27 stones. You're halfway to a multi right there. You get 15 silver World Tournament tickets. So, nine more than before. Now, these are the Dragon Ball Saga banner tickets, right? That's what these are right here. Here, let me go ahead and pull up this banner. So, these are the new... Oh, no, we want to go to global. 
Um, these are the new units that are out um, on Global's World Tournament right now. Uh, let me see, let me see. Yep, these guys right here. And then let me pull up the World Tournament banner. We'll take a look at it as well. This is just a big World Tournament video. Uh, okay, I'll pull up the World Tournament SSR one, which is more, you know, like, this. that's what I care about. But, like, normal, like, free-to-play players and stuff like that, y'all are gonna want to care about this bit. Wait, whoa. Mmm, okay. Real quick, Global does not have this guy's EZA yet, but when he gets his EZA, he's quietly, like, like the best like he's he's legitimately like a top three or top four easy unit or something like that like i would say it's like janemba tech golden frieza scr gogeta and then him because like you can build him in the potential system with 20 additional and he'll have a 40 percent chance to additional he'll have a 50 percent chance to crit from his passive and then a 70 percent chance to stun from a super attack he is just he is on a different level like he's so good so him being featured on that banner, like that, that kind of, I was like, whoa, wait a minute, hold on. Because <laughs> if, if you don't have that guy or you don't have a lot of copies of him or what, uh, they made him crazy. But those first tickets we were looking at, it was for this right here. Let me close this out. Uh, it was for this banner right here, right? So the new units are, of course, uh, Hachan, or, you know, which is, I th it's like 8chan, basically, is what Goku calls him, right? Uh, but, you know, or Android 8, 8 or whatever you want to call him. Uh, Tao is featured. I, he's just not in the data or something for DBZ space. It just didn't pull him yet. But Tao, of course, is also featured on here. Um, Android 8 is actually very interesting. He's a good card for the Android category team. Uh, if we head over here, Gotenks I already talked about. Uh, Android, no, that's Ox King. Android 8, like I was saying, uh, is pretty interesting. Oh, well, oh, okay, no, 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 excuse me. It's not the Android category team. It's it's Goku's team, the Dokkan Fest Kid Goku team. If you're on that team, this guy is going to be pretty nasty, um, you know, because when you get this thing where he gets this attack buff, like, multiplied into this one, he's able to hit pretty hard. Uh, he's actually a pretty solid unit, right? So if you can pull him, that's cool. Uh, let me take a look at Tao again. Medium chance of stunning. Yeah, he's good. He's good. But the only problem with him is his links suck. I mean, he does have revival for revived warriors, I guess. But, eh, I mean, hmm. It's just, yeah, like, Crane School, Supreme Warrior, like, Coward, Dodon Ray. Like, those just, none of those work on, like, revived warriors, which would be his best team. Brutal Beatdown, you're definitely going to have a couple of revived warriors on here. Like, I know you have Physical Kid Boo who will be on there. Um... Golden Frieza himself. Okay, so there, there's a couple things there. I, I might as well talk about this Ox King since I just started talking about these units. Uh, this guy is interesting. Now, you might think, oh, 150% defense. He's going to be a defensive juggernaut. Mm, not really, because he's an SR. He, uh, he doesn't have access to the hidden potential system. But for the Legendary Goku event, he does stack defense. So he's actually great in there. And he is a really good support type unit for Dragon Ball Saga. Uh, it's just... Dokkan, like, releasing an SR card, it's just completely ass-backwards because they can't access the hidden potential system. So, like, it, it's almost like, what what am I going to do with this guy? Like, you know, he gets... They get massacred. They can't crit. They can't additional. They can't dodge. Like, all that stuff hurts him. Uh, Yeah, I just wanted to show my team. We're going to look at that in one second. Um, okay, so the World Tournament tickets, you know, we just looked at those banners. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, so you get 15 of those. Per day, like, dude, that's what three singles per day? That's that's a lot. Like, it's <laughs> not a small number. You get fifteen gold statues. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> and you get fifteen dosing elder kai's. Like, yeah, sure, twelve of these are gonna fail, right? <laughs> but that's still like, that's per day. They're gonna give you forty-five of these if you win five times every day. Like, y'all understand how crazy this is. And then, six SSR silver guaranteed tickets. So that's one summon per day on the guaranteed SSR banner. Bro, this is a JP shaft. Where is this on JP? I could use this to get LR Piccolo, dog. What's up? Yo. Okay, so that's a single, that's a single on this banner every day. So, you know, again, like I was saying, I would go for this banner personally as, you know, a giant whale. I've got, like, all the other, like, normal banner units, like Rainbow and stuff like that, right? Because, again, your boy is after Piccolo. Piccolo, please let me pull you. Piccolo and Gohan, those two. I just want them so bad. I would actually like to Rainbow him, too. Um, and I can't pull them. Can't pull them to save my life. But most players probably do want to stick to this banner right here. 
Um, because, of course, you have many really good units in here, right? You know, God Vegeta, God Goku, you know, Frost is really good, Broly and Paragus. Broly is probably the best card you could pull from this banner, I, I would guess at a glance here. Um, there's a lot of other really good units. This Chi-Chi doesn't awaken yet on Global, but when she does, she's a monster on Goku's team. You know, th there's just a lot of good units in here, right? Oh, Super Vegeta? Yeah, Super Vegeta is really, really good. Um, I just, that Broly, y'all know how good, oh, when this boy gets his EZA on Global, ha! Oh, man, let me tell y'all, he is really good. Um, that 7 EZA that's coming up pretty soon, hopefully for Global, uh, it, a lot of those units just become so ridiculous. The Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, Metal Cooler, that's Super Saiyan Goku, uh, Nova Shenron, this Boo becomes crazy, uh, and then who, the Android 13, in Android 13, becomes a monster for the Android category team, uh, really, really good creating orbs and stuff like that, so, I mean, I, I just had to make this video to let y'all know, like, you gotta do, you have to suck it up and do this, because these are insane rewards, and you get three of these gravity, oh, that's the good gravity chamber too, right? 150 is the good gravity chamber, L let me, let me just double check that to confirm, I, I'm, is 150 the good gravity chamber? No, it's not. It's this one, isn't it? This is 150. No, this is 50. Okay, so 150 is a good one then. Boom, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. So, you know, this double... It basically gives you double experience. So, these world term rewards, like, you can't pass them up. You can't. You ha If you... If you're not, like, stuck in school or work or something like that, like, dude, you gotta get this done. Five wins per day. That's it. If you do your five wins per day, that's probably... That might be enough uh, to get all the missions done as well. Let me pull up the missions real fast, and then I want to show you guys the team I like to use, uh, and then we'll finish up the video here. Um, but you must get these missions done. You Look at these. Look at these rewards. It's insane. Like, all these free uh, tickets and stuff like this. Uh, tons of stones in here. Stones, stones, a lot of stones, a lot of stones. Uh, these medals, of course, are, you know, really good for Super Strike units. A uh, ton more of these tickets. You know, again, you're going to want to be doing summons on these banners as much as you can. You know, free SSRs, right? Uh, you get a bunch of orbs, which, of course, is really, really cool. Um, more of the gold tickets and stuff like that. And then, boom, here, 23 million points, you get Gotenks. So, I would recommend every player at least strive to hit this number right here. So you can get that guaranteed copy of Gotenks. You don't have to get top 1,000 or top 2,000 or anything like that. You know, you don't have to get top 1 million, nothing. Just just get your 23 million and you're good. Uh, and then the rest of it is just Kai's, basically. And then, you know, look, it's still going. Like, win a bunch of world tournaments in a row. Like, there's just so many rewards. I, I just, I know a lot of people like to be cool and say, like, ha, huh, I didn't touch that sh shitty mode. Yeah, that's cool, but you're missing out on a lot of free stuff. <laughs> like, I, I just would strongly recommend all global players get your five wins in the tournament. Um, and then here's, like, basically the variant of the team I was running. Um, I did try and use this team. I didn't actually upload a video last World Tournament because I was so close to not getting uh, the goal I wanted, which I believe was top 30, I want to say. I actually got, I think, spot 30. Spot 31, I didn't want to be. Spot 30 is where I wanted to be, so I just barely got it. But I was tr I was trying out a team where I actually use this Frieza as leader. Now, Global doesn't have him yet, but at Global, I think you guys are literally about to get this guy in, like, weeks' time. Or, like, days' time. Because I think the Namek Super Saiyan Goku uh, celebration and Dokkan Fest and then LR Full Power Frieza, I think that's the next thing on Global. If so... This Frieza is really good for World Tournament, um, and I, I was using him as a leader, right, for the Transformation Boost team, um, and then I was using LR Cell, uh, I was using Dragon Ball Super Broly down here, um, and then I was also using this Frieza, who also is about to come to Global, I think in a couple of days, who is another really good AoE unit that you could fit on that team, and then the last two spots on that team I filled out with Chaozu and Jacko, but I don't know, I felt like... It was close to the speed that this team is, but maybe just a little bit slower. So, uh, towards the end of the tournament, I actually did go back to this. Sometimes I run this a little bit different. Um, you know, you could replace Cell with something else, but 
Cell is really good in that, like, like if you start out the fight with him, he's getting an auto super. Like, him and Dragon Ball Super Broly both do that. But, obviously, there is no world tournament AoE that clears the field quite like uh, SCR LR Broly. He is still the king in that regard. And, of course, the SR, Jacko, and Chaozu, they have a 100% chance to stun the entire enemy field on that first turn that they do show up. So, they are very, very important. So... Good luck, guys. Again, um, I, I can't do anything except for strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you get your five wins per day and get all of these crazy rewards. Like, they just really made the World Tournament a lot more generous. So, global players, you guys have to take advantage of it. So, thanks for watching, um, and I'll catch y'all next time.